to come back to the react type of another wonderful day today i'm going to be reacting to two vampire diaries season two episode 14. well let's talk a little bit about last episode caroline and tyler poor caroline she's gone through so much last episode she didn't deserve this at all um tyler i understand he was Feeling confused, feeling betrayed, hurt, etc. But come on, man, like just stand there hesitating whether you help your friend or not just because she died and she lied. Did you forget how she stayed by your side through your darkest hours, risking her life, by the way? Did you forget that? Uh, just it was so messed up. I didn't like this at all. He like literally put his trust into strangers just because they are wolves and didn't even give Caroline the benefit of the doubt. Just come on, man. Seriously? Damon was really struggling in this episode between the pain, between not healing from the pain that Rose's death left and him feeling like being crushed more by his morality conflict the more he stays by Elena's side, Bonnie's side, Caroline's, uh, Rick and Stefan's and everyone else's that have have different morality standards than him the more he's conflicted he really wants to do good by Elena but he doesn't know how and be a vampire at the same time he's not like Stefan he can't pretend to be human or pretend to not be a vampire plus after all this time just living as a true vampire that embraces his nature completely that doesn't care about anything that doesn't care about anything suddenly he feels all these emotions and his humanity is showing up more and more he doesn't know how to control it so i feel the struggle that he has right now about elena and damon i said something last episode that elena is trying to influence him to do good i realized that i didn't convey my thoughts right trying to talk Demon out of killing someone that's something Elena would do is so normal. Of course, it's not the time that Elena tries to convince Damon to do, not kill someone, but the way she did it this time was different. This time she was very gentle with him. The way she talked to him, the way she looked at him, the way she touched his arm and everything. Even the tone of her voice was different. It's like she's trying to influence him by being gentle with him. And she knows she has an impact on him because he loves her. So her trying to convince him not to kiss someone this way, she knows that it would go through him. It would impact him because he loves her and she knows that she knows how much impact she can do on him but before Elena would not use this timber with him like she didn't used to be gentle with him especially if she's talking him out to not kill someone so what I'm trying to say is that Elena without realizing it maybe she realize it maybe she doesn't but she is starting to treat Damon differently and I think that what's happened with Rose may have changed the way she looks at him I don't know but that's what I felt from last episode so I think that's it you guys I will start right away next episode so hope you enjoy it let me just preface this with a big disclaimer that screams I should have known better it's the sun and moon curse Oh, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you and I have one? Mm -hmm. That can be arranged. Okay. Great. Such I didn't day. kill her. Oh my god. What's this? Are you compelling yourself a girlfriend? And you're falling hard. My new girlfriend, Andy Starr. Action news. It's not called action news. <laughs> so Why did he gave it to Damon and not Stefan? There's any truth in that. 
So you think it's a setup? Could be. Vampires break the curse, they're free to walk in the sunlight, but we're stuck only turning at the full moon, a.k.a. werewolf Armageddon. But if we break it, they're stuck as night walkers, and we can turn whenever we want. A.K.A. werewolf domination. <sighs> it's weird. Tyler. Really? Did, did someone really create a curse like this? It's just weird. I can understand that it sucks for a werewolf, but maybe even vampires, because not everyone has a daylight brain, but this feels like, I don't know. No one liked her. She was a vampire. Oh my god. Bad news. They'll think that she's Elena. Thanks to Macy. That's Elena Gilbert. You stay away from me. It's important. Just stop it, Tyler, okay? You're just you're just making it worse. Please, Caroline. What did you do here? Pat, there's nothing going on. Hey! I said stop lying. <sighs> Poor man. <laughs> if only you knew. Oh my god, he, he took his uh, phone. Has a house up there. Nice. Are you stupid? Are you stupid, Tyler? He can't get in. All good. Stefan, I can't. She can't. What? My parents left this place to John Gilbert. He's the only one who can invite you in. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> yeah, she is. I hereby invite you into this home. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> Lots of research, strictly academic. The hair. <laughs> Elijah, I want you to meet Damon Salvatore. His family is one of Mystic Falls' founding families. Mm -hmm. How's it going? She's selling it and he's buying it. What's she planning to do? Sex All right, Caroline, I get it. <laughs> what kind of witch roofie was that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these two really needed this. I don't think there are a lot of conversations to be had about our future. Kind of life as a human and vampire? You know, this is a future moment. That's where your boyfriend whispered to you. I loved you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just look beautiful together. And that ring that Isabel gave you? That's mine. I'm gonna want that back. You took. Oh my god, you pissed him off. <laughs> Young vampires. So arrogant. How dare you come in here and challenge me? Oh my god. Ah, I'm an original. Ah. Show a little respect. Ah. My dad did all the cooking too. I can't handle this anymore. Just cuteness overload. It's a really hard thing to lose your parents. Here. I can't imagine. You look very hot in it. I look hot in your dead great granddad's jacket. Beyond. <laughs> Her parents have like an hour or two before my birthday. Vampire hunters? Yeah, got it. Never gonna get used to that. It's <laughs> pretty hot. You know it. <laughs> but you're a witch and I'm a vampire. You know, it's not like we're in any position to be picky. Judge. My love for Caroline is beyond words, just saying. That Elijah's one scary dude. Yeah. With nice hair. Hey, you want one? Not really. She's got spunk, huh? You can just tell don't her. Me, please. If I did, who would report her death? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Damon. Oh. Okay, if she's dead, who would report her death? Oh my god. He has his way. He didn't give it to John. It's not the place for you, Tyler. And if they break that curse, all of us are as good as dead. You're not going to break the curse. Oh. Until you get a lawyer, file for guardianship, it's my call, and there's nothing you can do about it. I always knew you were lax with them, but I didn't think you were negligent. Now you want to play the dead role? You jerk. You just now feel the need to, to, to be a dead to her? <sighs> okay. 
Did he ever tell no, you what happened? You're not. To her? Let her just. She died. Really? So they found her body. It's not your call to you say think? something. It's not your Andrew's business. Right. I'd love to hear his answer. And he's not doing this because, oh, I care about you. Rick is lying to you. It's absolutely not what he is doing. He's just a jerk who. He's just a jerk who doesn't like Rick, so he's trying to mess things up. It's not his call to say something. It's not. It's really not. If you want to tell her about vampires, go ahead and tell her. But not pretend that you, that others lie and you're not lying. <laughs> look at just look at this scene. The moment he woke up, the first thing he did was seeing if Rick is wearing his red and just that instant relief on his face is just oh my god <laughs> oh if you only knew the irony of this moment right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah and how do you kill Klaus? how do you kill an original vampire? <laughs> You kill me, I tell you. Don't make me. After the sacrifice, Klaus will be vulnerable, weak. It's our only chance. After the sacrifice? Elena will be dead. Yes. Elena has to die. Are you kidding me? Seriously? What's about all keeping Elena safe and all things? What? What? We don't want to break the curse, Tyler. We don't want to do that. Oh, yeah? But I do. <laughs> Elena, are you crazy? I can't be like this forever. Tyler, okay. I just tried to save Elena. Elena will be fine. I didn't tell you that part, did they? In order to break the curse, Elena has to die. <sighs> Tyler. Oh, she says something. Oh my god, she's so freaking smart. Oh my god, the reflexes! I can smell you. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. I didn't know what they were gonna do to you. I didn't. Uh, Tyler. I don't want to be like this anymore. I'm sorry, lady. Uh, you looking for this? Can't <laughs> 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 no? 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 Where's the girl? with no consequences on his health like imagine dying coming back to life dying coming back to life like and every time in a different way <sighs> all the lies all the secrets just this is a supernatural work like, straight from the it is world. what it is he was gonna go through with the whole sacrifice i know the deal i made stuff in elijah's very careful with his words he promised to protect my friends. He are you crazy? Never said a word about me. How could you stand out there earlier with me, talking about making plans for our future when you don't even expect to have one? I'm sorry, Stefan. I'm just trying to keep the people that I love safe. I'm trying to keep you safe. No, what you're doing is you're being a martyr. How is that any different from when you say that you would die to keep me safe? Because I've already lived and you've barely begun. It's not heroic. It's tragic. I get both sides, but I get Stefan's side anything? more than Elena's side. You're Elena's little brother. I've known you forever. You're that punk kid. Over your awkward <laughs> phase, and, and then your emo phase. Overnight, you turn into this hot guy who's really sweet and... You think I'm hot? <laughs> Enough already. 
Wait, hopefully she won't die after a few episodes though. <laughs> that was a lame joke. It's your sad reality. Is he leaving? I've been going through a rough time. Something I can't really talk about. Caroline's been helping me through it. I kind of fell for her. I don't know how anyone wouldn't because she's pretty incredible. She is. And to be honest, she deserves someone like you. <sighs> so you be good to her. <gasps> this show, this show can make me feel things. Uh, are you coming with Jules? <sighs> really? I don't know I about that. Not like this. The show, the show, the show. I love how compassionate and empathetic Elena can be. It's really, if you ask me, truly her best quality. And she always puts other people first. She always put herself in other people's shoes. She tries to understand them and forget them. If I were her, won't probably be that easy to forgive Tyler. <laughs> uh, Elijah is so freaking cool. He casually rips people's heart without flinching. No effort whatsoever. <laughs> like, I'm an original, show me some respect. Why? Like, it's almost like being a royalty among vampires. Not almost. It's being a royalty among vampires. Tyler. I understand that Tyler needs a break to understand himself and his nature as a werewolf. But really, Jules. After all this, is this really a good idea? Now he's gone, I don't know when he'd come back. Even if I was so pissed at him, I kinda still low-key ship him with Caroline. I liked that he tried to be the bigger man at the end. He thinks that he doesn't deserve her, which is like kinda true for now. And so he tried to clean some things before he leaves. But I don't think that the new Caroline has a room for Matt. Because if she had dated him sooner or later, he would figure it out. And I think Matt is not the type of person that would do well in this universe. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Like, he's a simple kid. Like, he has family issues. Now he's working for himself to support himself. And it just, it's just too much, like, chaos. And he just doesn't need that in his life. I just think so. So... <clears throat> I feel like Caroline and Matt doesn't work out, like, not really. John, John is being a dick. I agree, Jenna is kept in the dark for so long, but it's, it's crazy. Like, if they just tell her, like, they will ruin her life, it's well just go upside down like especially knowing that the girl that you are taking off is double gainer that supposedly is going to be used in a sacrifice <clears throat> it's going to be too much for her like raising teenagers is enough but raising a supernatural kid it just her life is going to go upside down like and i I understand why they're not telling her. It's it's crazy to tell someone all of this. And John is being such a jerk. He knows that it's not like just Rick's secret. Like it's not his secret to tell. Maybe the only thing that I that I think that Rick can tell for now is that Isabel is not dead but she's gonna ask more questions and more questions more lies so so i think it just it's not the place for john to tell us something you are lying to her if if we speak if we speak in that way you're lying to her too you've been lying to her like since you've known her 
you've never told her that the girl that you're taking care of is actually mine it's actually my daughter you've never told her that you were lying then at least they're lying to protect her and i'm not like okay with lying of course i'm not okay with lying you shouldn't be lying but this word is different this is a supernatural word like it comes with secrets it comes with lies that's the way it is because because it's so unnormal that it's hard to explain to other people and not just that you lie because you know you already are dragged to this world of chaos of death and all of that and you don't want your loved ones to be dragged into this as well so i understand this whole thing i can't believe that the deal that alina made with elijah is not to keep her alive but just to keep her friends alive i can s see both of elena and stefan's side i can see elena's side because i know her character I know what she feels, but man, Lena is just giving up. She's not even trying to find another way. I can totally see why she's trying to protect the people that she loves, but that doesn't mean that she's not being suicidal. It's really tragic, like Stefan said, to be honest. She owes it to herself and to her friends and to her loved ones to at least try to find another way. And Stefan is right. There's a big difference if we're just talking about Stefan and Elena here, just Stefan and Elena, her trying to protect him and him trying to protect her. There's a big difference here. Yeah, she loves him. As when you love someone, you try to protect him. It's so normal. She won't let Stefan die for her and Stefan won't let her die for him. It's just... <laughs> This is how it goes, this is how it goes. But Stefan is a vampire who lived 160 years. She's just starting to live her life. But when you love someone, you can be this selfless because you love him. So it's, it's complicated. But never the least, she, it feels like she's giving up. She owe it to herself and to her friends and to her loved ones to at least try to find another way. Plus if the sacrifice happens anyway, she's not the only person that will die. Being a vampire and a werewolf and a witch, still people are going to die either way. Yeah, maybe her friends will be safe and those are just other random people, I don't know. But the sacrifice is not the answer. It shouldn't happen in the first place. But this whole scene with Elena trying to evade this wolf, it shows that she has this survival spirit, that she's smart to keep herself alive if she wants to. So just trying. That's, what, that's all I'm saying. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. See you in another video. Bye.